YSU is celebrating a milestone this weekend. The Ward Beecher Planetarium is turning 50. Such a cool spot on campus. And First News Weekend Morning anchor Abby Schrader joins us live in studio now with details about this weekend's golden anniversary. It's new this morning. Abby? Yeah, Dan and Lauren, a lot has changed in 50 years, especially in the world of astronomy, starting with the space race in the 60s to today's latest discoveries. I talked to some of the planetarium staff, and they tell me they're excited to reach this milestone and to see what the future holds. It was back in 1967 when the Ward Beecher Planetarium at YSU opened its doors. And over the past half century, the planetarium has not only served as a classroom for astronomy students, but has welcomed thousands of school kids on field trips and hosted weekend shows for the public. I love being in astronomy because not only is it the, the oldest science going back thousands and thousands of years, it's also the cutting edge of science. Kurt Spivey is the planetarium I'm engineer. He took me inside easy. to see the colors of the dome and the one piece of technology that makes it all happen. That would be Kronos, the star ball, which has also gone through its own changes over 50 years. In the days when, you know, lots of planetariums were springing up, you know, you had the beautiful star ball. People could go inside the dome and get a, you know, a good realistic view of what the night sky would look like. Dr. Patrick Durrell, the planetarium director, says technology has been the biggest change. It started with the original star ball to adding video projection across the dome. And because astronomy is constantly changing, they are too. Dr. Durrell says it's their job to educate everyone. So when you come to the planetarium, he says bring your excitement and your questions. We are excited about astronomy and space science, and we want everybody to have an appreciation of what the universe is all about. The 50th anniversary celebration starts tonight with a guest speaker. Tomorrow is the alumni portion and some public shows. And some of the planetarium's future plans include a brand new state-of-the-art video system, which should be ready to go by this summer. And to learn more about the planetarium and how you can visit for free, just head over to our website, WKBN.com. Live in the studio, Abby Schrader, 27 First News This Morning.